Hey again, welcome back to a, another video. Um, it's been a while. I've, put, I've just recorded a video yesterday, and I don't know which one's going to first air this one or the next one. So, I'm both going to say how to you in a while. Anyway, back to Project Pen. Um, yes, I stopped doing it for a while. I did a whole one month, two months. I recorded definitely two months, and then done the third month, but I never posted it or any of that. So, yeah, that is, um, yeah. Anyway, I think the reason that one failed is because I was putting too much pressure on myself to just use that stuff and not really get to use the rest of my stuff, which is very stupid because I do have quite a bit of makeup now and I really enjoy it. So basically what I'm doing is I've got this basket of stuff that I actually like and do use a lot anyway. So instead of being like, some of the stuff, instead of being like, it's got to go, I'm just going to keep track of it. And then... If it runs out, it runs out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, some stuff I might swap in and out whenever I want, just because I might be like, that hip pen now, I don't want to use that that much more. <clears throat> You'll see what I mean anyway. Basically, how I'm going to do this is do my face while explaining what's going on. So, starting off with the Elf Putty Primer. This is in here because I just use it all the time. Currently weight at... Uh, was it in grams? Sorry, my scales is on here. Yeah, it's in grams. Okay, so it is currently weighed at seven, seven, 47.43. Um, and yeah, it's a primer. Don't know what else to really say about it. <clears throat> so next up, I was going to leave this out, but then I was like, it's kind of like a spot check concealer I use it for. So it's close to my skin tone don't really have too many spots. I have like one or two here. So I'm just going to use it for this video to show you what I do with it. So just get a bit out of my finger. Where's my mer? My mer. Then small dab on the right spot. Like so. Rub in the primer because it's not rubbing properly. Well done. And just leave it like that for a minute. And you're like looking right now, it's like, that's way too light for you. I think it oxidizes because it usually is a very nice cover. 24.66 is currently weighing right now. The picture might say something else because I weighed it before using it, but I didn't use that much. It's really. So, what I do is either with my finger or with a concealer brush, just tap in the spots I put on, not swiping at all. Let me get my brush. So that is the red pot just covered up basically. And then if I see any small ones, I usually do this with my brush just over them as well. Just to make sure. Now, next we're going to foundations. And yes, you heard foundations. I have three. Simply because this one I want to actually hit pan on is the collection one. It is running low, low, low. It's on 75.37 grams. There's not a lot left in it. It probably could be done next week. It's the same one from the front, the one I did started. So it is nearly done. The next one I'm adding in is the Maybelline Superstay um, in the shade Sand or 30 Sand. It is currently at 90.93. The reason it's in there is because I literally use it all the time for drag. So that's kind of my go-to one. And then I'm adding this in because I haven't used it in ages and I forgot how good it was. So it is the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. It is at 96.96 grams. I'm just going to go two pumps and put that on my face. I'll be back in two seconds. So it is a little bit yellow for me. So I put on too much. And when I put on too much of it, it goes very yellow. So, but usually after everything is done and blended out and put in, it's not that bad. <clears throat> anyway, moving on to concealers. I have two, again. The collection one and the elf hydrating one. No real reasons for these to be in here. I like them both. I have loads of or concealers that I love. And obviously the Maybelline one, but it's not for my under eyes or the rest of the places. Elf is at 30.81 uh, and then the collection one is at 9.73. Going on with the collection one today. Because why not? 
uh, use a very small bit of concealer actually when I'm out of drag. I feel like I'm over dragging this, like not over dragging, I'm doing more makeup than I normally would because this is what I do on a daily. That's concealer done, looks a bit better. Then I have the Fit Me Powder, um, just literally a quick set of the entire face, not a lot. It is currently, where's the powder? Uh, why can I not talk today? 54.51. Then I'm just going to lightly pack a small bit under my eyes and then um, next then we are going to go with the name my brush Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is one thing that I don't want to hit pan on. I just really love it and I use it all the time. Um where is it? It is on 61.69. I do have another bronzer but it's in a palette. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So just very lightly down the cheeks like so. The nervous is slightly dusted off. I have both sides of my nose up here. Like generally this is how I bronze and that's kind of it. This is for every day. That's done. Now we're going into blush. But as I said, it's in a palette with a bronzer. So it's the Benefit uh, Whirlo Blush. So it's the Hula Bronzer, the California Dandelion and Rock Guitar blushes. I probably said them all wrong. The palette is coming in at 97.11, where they get six from. So I'm going to go in with the blush color Dandelion. So it's the top, like, shimmery pinky one. So top off small of that. Just above my bronzer, a little bit of pink. That is done. Now, the next thing we're going to do is brows. These are all samples, but I use them anyway because they're good products. Quickly, let's go through this. The 24 hour, no, this is the first one. The Gimme Brow, this tiny little one, is the first one I use. It is 5.87. Um, then the pencil is next. The Precisely My Brow Pencil is at 5 exactly. Have this in here, don't really use it, but it is the Goof Proof um, Brow Pencil at 6.73. It's probably going to be the same next time we come back. And then finally, going to the last day, the 24 hour brow setter, and that is the heaviest one at the moment at 9.71. So, back to sex, I'm going to do my brows. And then... Now, the last two things in my collection I just kind of want to get rid of, and I played a lot of money for them, so I want to get my money's worth of it. So, the first is this highlighter, it is a 111.3 is probably my perfect skin tone I'm not gonna lie and I'm not I don't go lightly with it either um finally finishing off with the lip gloss um it is at where is the other one 31.31 just literally don't even wipe off the foundation off my lips that's it that's basically my everyday look. I need to get like a brown mascara for every day. Just so. Yeah. I look better. But I'm just trying right now to look like me. Oh. Sunny spray. I always do sunny spray. Um, I don't have one in my project plan because. It's one of those things I want to just switch around every time. Probably should put Urban Decay All Nighter in because it will eventually run out. Um, stuff you're not going to see in my project pan, basically. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, eyeshadow palettes because I switch them up every single time I do makeup just because I don't know what looks I'm doing normally. And I feel like if I stick to one eyeshadow palette, I'll always come up with looks that don't include it. Does that make sense? Because in the last one, I tried to put this in there, did not use it once. Um, if I do put it back in, it will be to use this highlighter and this highlighter alone. Like, I won't be to use the eyeshadow palette. <coughs> I might do that eventually. Um, other stuff, lipsticks, because well, out of drag, I don't use lipsticks, like, at all. Um, and then in drag, it's just kind of just what goes with the look again. So it's either a red and nude. Usually what a red or red or a nude, not gonna lie. Phone just cut up there for no reason. Don't know why. Um, 
anyway, I think it's the science telling me, shut up, you're done talking. Basically, yeah. So I recorded this on the second, just in case you're wondering, and I weighed everything on the first. So again, I'm going to try to keep everything on the first. My double chin is flat from this angle, so I'm just go down like this. That was good. So I'm going to talk about... No. Um, but yeah, um, 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 thank you for watching if you got this far. If you did, I am very surprised because I don't think I even got this far. So well done, fair play. Thank you. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you don't. Subscribe if you want to. Not really push if you do or not. Do this for fun. So, peace.